Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Remy and I make ASMR videos. For this evening's video, I'm going to be reading to you all from my Berenstain Bears collection. Specifically, I'm going to read The Bernstein Bears Count Their Blessings So, let's go ahead and get started So first, let's look at the cover together I'm sure most of you are familiar with the Bernstein Bears already, and if you aren't, you'll catch on quickly enough. So, setting aside our titular characters, <laughs> let's look at some things on the front cover together. We have this wood carved lamp in the shape of an owl and it has a green lampshade and there's a picture on the wall that says home sweet home if you don't know the Bernstein bears live in a hollowed out tree and then they have a sort of stone fireplace you can see the hearth down here and grandma and grandpa bear I don't know whose parents they are I don't recall And then up here we have a little candelabra So let's take a look inside So inside it says The Bernstein Bears count their blessings Small bears get Big eyes when they take off and roam and sometimes forget all the good stuff at home. Don't we all? So here's the title again in a kind of banner. saw in that little picture on the wall on the cover and here is a rainbow Mama said Sister Bear one day after school Can you see? May I go over to Lizzie's house to play this afternoon? Yes, you may, said Mama Bear, but be sure not to leave a mess for Lizzie's mom and be sure to be home in time for supper. So if you don't already know the Bernstein Bears, you're getting acquainted now. We have Mama Bear and and Sister Bear, Mama Bear is taking Sister Bear's lunch bag back from her. You can see they live out near some mountains. As Mama watched, 
sister skipping happily over the hill to Lizzie's house, she sighed. She knew exactly what was going to happen when the sister got home. And it wasn't just when she got home from Lizzie's. It was the same thing when she got home from Hannah's or Queenie's. So you can actually see Lizzie's house. Right here. She also lives in a tree. You want to take a close look. It's different, though, different enough the way our houses always have some variations, even if they're in the same style. There's some nice bay windows, <laughs> but I always liked the pink and white of the Berenstain Bears house, the Berenstain residence. Shay Berenstain. So now we're going to find out what happened. Every time Sister Bear goes to a friend's house, Anna's got her own phone in her room, Sister would complain. Or Queenie's got her own phone and her own TV in her room. But Lizzie's was the worst. That was because Lizzie had the biggest collection of Barbie dolls ever. So here. Sister Bear talking on the phone with Anna. Here's Sister Bear watching TV with Queenie. And over here we can see Lizzie's Barbie doll collection. Up here, there's one in blue and a kind of, maybe like a Coco Chanel inspired suit. Then there's one in workout clothes. This one has a kind of strapless wrap dress, maybe a sarong. And this one is geared up to ride her motorbike and this one I think it's safe to say is in some sort of bridal gown and there are more clothes in this little train case here <laughs> Mama Bear is rolling her eyes but you have a Barbie doll, Mama would say, and your Barbie has lovely clothes. But Lizzie has lots of Barbies, complained sister. She's got high fashion Barbie, super sport Barbie, tropical Barbie, motorcycle Barbie, and just married Barbie. And just married Barbie has a whole trousseau. Okay, so I think I got like 60% of that right. Then Mama usually said, Please, sister, I've heard quite enough about Lizzie's Barbie collection. It wasn't much better with Brother Bear. Of course, it wasn't Barbie dolls with brother. It was video games for his Game Bear player. Game Bear player. It was video games for his Game Bear player. When brother came home from Cousin Freddy's house, it was... You ought to see how many video games Freddy has. He's got Space Avenger, Rocket Ranger, Killer Coyote, and on and on and on. And like with 
Lizzie's Bear Bee Collection. We can see all the different games, some of which Brother Bear just listed. So I think I think it goes in order from here. I think these are the two that aren't listed because I see the coyote. No, that's because I see the coyote there, and I think I see the rocket rangers, and then the space avenger. Mama looked around. Where was brother? See, this is something that they do a lot. They have someone's thought bubble. And it just pops right there because she's coming back to reality. Where was brother? She asked Papa Bear when he came in from his shop for a tea break. Brother asked if he could go over to Cousin Fred's. He said, I told him, sure, he'll be back in time for supper. There was a distant rumble of thunder. Hmm, he added. There must be a storm coming. So now we're meeting Papa Bear, and we just met Brother Bear, although only in a recollection of Mama Bear. And right at the bottom of the page, you see just the top of a plate of tea cookies. Looks maybe like just chocolate chip. Oh. <laughs> we also get to see Cousin Freddy and the Game Bear player. Bernstein Bears family usually sticks to the same clothes. I think sometimes I'll change it up, but this is very standard for Brother Bear. This kind of flannel shirt, very standard for Papa Bear with the overalls or, you know, his dungarees when he's in his shop. He does woodwork and things like that. And Mama Bear is always in her kind of house dress and um, house coat, maybe I should say. And her, her cap, her little bonnet. And yes, Sister Bear is always in this little Gosh, gosh, bagosh, style outfit. That's right, thought Mama, with Sister at Lizzie's and Brother at Fred's. There was bound to be a storm coming, a storm of complaints about how many bear bees Lizzie had and how many video games Fred had. Mama got upset just thinking about it. But as the thunder got louder and the storm came closer, she began to worry. Sorry, that's noisy. So now the perspective has changed a little. And in addition to Lizzie's house, we can also see another house, I'm assuming. I'm assuming Cousin Fred's. She was about to call to have the cubs sent home when she heard them coming up the front steps. They came in the door just ahead of the rain. It didn't take long for the complaining to start. It's sweet. 
that they're holding hands and you can see the drizzle beginning Lizzie just got equestrian therapy, said sister. It's brand new. It comes with riding clothes and a beautiful horse. You think that's something? cried brother. Cousin Fred's got three new video games. Three. Now look, you two, said mama. I've heard quite enough about what you don't have. It would be very nice if you would start appreciating the things you do have. It's called counting your blessings. She's got her hands on her hips. I recognize that. Full mom mood. So this whole page is devoted to Sister Bear's thoughts of Equestrian Bear Bee as she's describing it and Brother Bear is clamoring about Cousin Fred's new Game Bear game He's like three It looks like involves maybe a sequel with that coyote, but he's got a gun and he's got a bird. Either he's shooting the bird or the bird is his sidekick. This one seems to be like a, a diving competition, which sounds interesting for a game. And this is baseball theme. Like what? asked sister. Yes, said brother. Like what? <laughs> like what? <laughs> it's, you know, kids. <laughs> so they are jaded here. Or maybe a little spoiled. They're just kids, you know, having trouble seeing the big picture. This is like a little insert and there's a, a larger tableau behind Just then there was a streak of lightning followed by a big clap of thunder and the rain started coming down very hard The cubs weren't exactly afraid of lightning and thunder but this looked as if it was going to be a really big storm and they were a little nervous yeah so you can see that there's a little shed down here perhaps where Papa Bear works all the way through he has a workshop in the basement I'm not sure And then the big I'm sorry about the car. And then the big crack. Big clap of thunder. Streak of lightning. Well, said Mama. This warm, cozy house that protects us against the weather. That's one blessing. Now it was really pouring. The wind was whipping the curtains and blowing rain into the house. Mama and Papa rushed about, closing windows. So here she is, saying, well, this house for one thing. I like it because even when she's kind of chastising them, she never looks. 
next to angry. She's got her hands on her knees. She's kind of getting on their level. You know, she's not towering over them. <laughs> I don't know. That's a tangent. But it seems like a, a positive learning moment. That home sweet home again. And here they are. Shutting all the windows. Feels like they should have done that earlier, but that's just me. There was another lightning flash and another thunderclap. We have each other, said Mama, bringing the cubs close. That's another blessing. That's when the biggest lightning flash yet lit up the sky and was followed by a clap of thunder that shook the very air. <laughs> so they're feeling pretty nervous. Happy to have their Mama Bear to hold on to. And it says, Kaboom. 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 Yipe, cried sister, jumping into mama's arms. Help, cried brother, jumping into papa's arms. You can see them bounding up. I like all the colors in the rainstorm. And you've got a mama and papa who love you, said mama. The lights started to flicker. Then after a few flickers, they went out. So they're in the dark here. In the silhouette, you can see Sister Bear's back of her head. And I think Brother Bear is there about. And you have a papa who knows how to make a fire in the fireplace, said Papa. Soon he had a cheery fire roaring. So now we get another look. At their fireplace. It's really sweet. See all the stones? Different colors, kind of like flagstone, but not. Oh, and I like the, the glow around the candelabra. And a mama who knows how to make cocoa over it, said mama. She hung a cook pot over the fire. Soon they were sitting in the glow of the fire, sipping hot, sweet cocoa. Mmm, what a blessing that was. So, so here's the cook pot. Here are the mugs of, well, the empty mugs, into which she'll pour the hot cocoa when it's ready. It seems like it was ready very quickly because here they all are drinking it. Sister Bear looks like a little muppet with her mouth open like that. The storm, sorry, the storm kept getting worse. The lightning flashed brighter and brighter. The thunder crashed louder and louder. The th that seemed... The th that last flash seemed awful close, said sister. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. Nothing to 
worry about, said Papa. It was at least five thousand feet away. How can you tell? asked Brother. Sorry, my neighbor is counting his blessings. <laughs> He's got a very thunderous voice. <laughs> so here they are, looking out the window. Not much new scenically, but it's always fun to compare their different facial expressions. Papa Bear is very affable. They all are, really. Easy, said Papa. You see, sound travels a lot slower than light. So when you see the flash, start counting the seconds. One, two, three, until you hear the thunder. Then you figure about a thousand feet for each second. Just then there was a flash. So, he's just explaining. The cubs started counting. One, two, three. On four, there was a big thunderclap. That flash was about four thousand feet away, said sister. Very good, said papa. So you can see there. Their morale has been boosted. They're feeling a little better. A little more at ease. And we can see the front of the house from a new perspective. They have a little flower box. And you can see the colors in the bark of the tree. Outside, the storm raged on. You can see the bending in the, you know, the strong gales. I don't know if this one was always like this, or if it was broken in the storm. Look how many windows, <laughs> I guess implying that there's a lot more space in this tree than you think. I don't really understand, like, the floor. <laughs> Maybe there's a staircase involved somewhere, but it looks like, like five different levels. That's okay, I'm not a, I'm not a bear architect, you know. But inside their sturdy tree house, the bear family was cozy and warm. As the storm grew worse, they sipped cocoa and counted out the thunder. The counting helped. Papa explained what lightning and thunder were. Lightning was a big electrical flash that traveled between storm clouds and burned up the air. Thunder was the sound of air rushing into the burnt space. That helped, too. So again, not much has changed. They're just nice and cozy on their, on their sweet little couch. Gradually, the storm eased. The rain slowed and stopped, and the lights came back on. The bear family sighed a big sigh of relief. Oh, I think I've been calling them the Berenstain Bears family, but the bear family. Then sister started counting again. Why are you counting, dear? asked Mama. The storm is over. I'm doing what you said, Mama, she said. I'm counting my blessings. So here is the neighborhood after the storm. So once again we have 
Lizzie's house and Cousin Fred's beautiful rolling hills must be a nice place to grow up you can see the kind of watercolor effect near the edges of the little written blurbs see? kind of a watercolor effect so while papa set the table and mama started supper sister went upstairs to play with her Barbie doll and brother tried to reach the next level on one of his video games So now we're seeing their, their staircase and a little credenza here and an area rug and brother bears perched on some sort of little stool or poof and Looks like Mother Bear's straining some green beans, maybe, while Papa Bear sets the table for dinner. You know, my dear, said Papa, there are birthdays and Christmas coming. Do you have any ideas for the cups? Yeah, see? She's breaking up some green beans. Looks like he's taking one to snack on. You know, my dear, said Papa, there are birthdays and Christmas coming. Do you have any ideas for the cups? I thought perhaps a just married Barbie for sister and a couple video games for brother might be nice, Mama said. What do you think? I think we should count our blessings too, said Papa. <laughs> I'm not fully sure what he means. Maybe he's thankful for the kids. Maybe he's saying, hey, when you count your blessings, then you get what you wanted. Anyway, I don't know if he's being like, sarcastic. He's kind of a jokester. You'll come to see. <laughs> okay. So, that's the end of that book. For those of you who do celebrate, I'm wishing you a very happy Thanksgiving. So, I don't know about those of you who celebrate Thanksgiving, but my family has a tradition of naming things for which we are thankful before, before our Thanksgiving dinner and I hope it goes without saying but I of course want to make sure to say anyway I am very thankful for this channel this larger community and specifically for all of you for my viewers and especially my lovely subscribers so, thank you all so, so much for watching and listening. I hope you get lots and lots and lots of good REM sleep. And, as always, I hope all your dreams are sweet.